key would open doors, vaults, and secrets. I remember my parents' keychain, with dozens of keys rattling in their hands, for the office, the car, the house, the safe deposit box. It seemed like they were the only ones with the real power in my life. I emulated them with a key to my diary, locker, bike, and hiding place. Fast forward a few decades to now. We don't need physical keys anymore. We are the key. Our identities, our digital identities, have become those keys on a chain, unlocking all the doors and vaults we hold so dear to our lives, from our bank accounts to our payments to online memberships and voting. All of those doors being unlocked using that digital identity key, which is a montage made of our faces, our thumbprints, our addresses, our utility bills, our IDs, and our digital fingerprints, and more. This is why fraudsters are the modern equivalent of body snatchers. They not only get access to our information, they become us. Leaving traces of activities we did not perform, purchases we never made, votes we never decided on, all across our digital being. Now multiply that by hundreds of millions of stolen identities, and you have what we call a shadow nation that can influence finances, politics, and our lives like never before. Our keys have to be protected at all costs. Their use must continuously manage as these dynamic keys continuously change as our lives evolve, as we move to a new address, or as we change our hairstyle. So that master of keys, that in-person authority, will not do anymore. We need a new breed of identity managers, digital experts, bodies we can trust, vigilant masters of cybersecurity that evolve and skill alongside with the best hackers and the best fraud criminals. We have been doing this since 1982 with billions of identities verified at borders, banks, across commerce and payments. We are the best at what we do because we can bridge the physical and digital worlds. We understand our responsibility as your key master.